Want to say hi to our biggest fan on YouTube, everyone? Hi, hey, Jimmy! All right, guys, welcome to the video. This is our 2023 equipment lineup video. I only talk to God when I need a favor. And I only pray when I ain't got a prayer. So who the hell am I, who the hell am I to expect a savior? Oh, if I only talk to God when I need a favor. Let's jump into it. We had uh, all the guys meet this morning. We went for breakfast with our crew. I had four guys in yesterday. We got all these trucks and equipment all cleaned up and washed. So thank you very, very much for everyone that came in to help get the equipment cleaned up. And thanks for the entire team for coming out today to take pictures. We had a photographer come out. We had individual pictures. We had stuff with equipment that the guys have with their own trucks, uh, group photos. We had a lot of fun. So it was such a great time. Uh, we took everyone out for breakfast this morning, like I said, uh, met today group photos and then now I'm going to do a video, a video for you guys. All the equipment is together so it's nice kind of seeing it when it's together like this to do a video uh, like this of equipment because if it's not together it's not a very good video. So let's jump into it. I'm going to focus guys on the stuff that we've added because I did take a video uh, last year of our equipment lineup. I'm going to focus on new stuff we've added to the fleet because uh, a lot of it got covered last year. So let's jump into that. Let's have some fun and away we go. All right, so we're going to start working from left to right. So let's start with the new Western Star. We'll start here and work our way across the fleet. So let's go. This is our new 2024 20, uh, Western Star uh, 4900X, they call it. We added in um, strobe lights in the front. It's actually kind of a cool idea my dad had. We put the strobe lights. Originally, I had the lights here and here on both sides. We added one in the middle so it looks like a W. So when the lights go off, they go here, here to here. And it makes a W for the uh, same as the album. So kind of cool. Um, this is the new Traxel. If you're ordering a Western Star, I believe this is all they make now for their um, 4900s. Um, of course, we have it branded with our Dream Crate and Joy on the back, our socials. This is a picture of a really beautiful project we did this year, which I will have on YouTube eventually. Um, this is an awesome job we did at the Pilo Funeral Home in Empire. And our logo, of course, in the middle. One cool thing about our logo this year that we changed was we put this 30 year anniversary if you can see in the lettering there so it's kind of ghosted out but it shows you 30 year throughout the logo so when you stand back you can't tell but we have our 30 year anniversary because this is our 30th year in business this year and we changed the doors so it says cai rather than have the logo on the side of the truck and also here we have so it's kind of simple like our social media is cai on the side of the truck so that's that that's our newest uh traxel to the fleet um I won't go too in depth with it. It is very modern inside. It has lots of gadgets and gizmos and sensors and stuff like that. If you do like the old school uh, Western Stars then you will like that one better. But this is our newest Traxel edition. Next we have the Freightliner. It's 2009 uh, Freight. This is my truck that I usually drive. Um, it's a, I think I said it's an 09 uh, tandem, of course. Uh, not much to say about this truck, but it's been a great truck. We've had it for a couple years now. Very, uh, very been easy to maintain. So uh, that's our only tandem that we do have. On the back of this tandem, we have our Milano float. It's a 2022 30 ton paver deck uh, Milano float. Um, has electric jacks on it it's just a really great float there's strobe lights in the back um obviously it's a paving style float being a paving company so those are paver ramps in the back and this has been a great float my own trailers is located at toronto uh, in ontario and i actually have no complaints with this float at all in fact we actually had this on site about a week ago uh the ramps were up we put them down and back up they held air for a whole week so this float is just anyways, it's an awesome float built very well no complaints um on this float, we have our 2022 uh, VIO 35 Yanmar shovel. Has a thumb on it, great uh, Mini X. Um, it's been an awesome machine for us, zero issues there. This here is our CAT um, 2.7, it's a CB 2.7 roller. This we do not own, we do rent this roller every summer, uh, but it's been an awesome machine. We use this for heavier compaction of gravel and base material and also on larger commercial projects, we will use it to compact asphalt with. It does have a water tank in it and it is dual purpose. So that is our roller uh, over this way. We have our tool truck. So this is our Azuzu, I believe it's 2019. Um, 
Isuzu. Uh, it has a toolbox on the side of it. You have your dump box in the back. I'll keep our wheel barrels back there. And then we have all of our hand tools uh, back here as well as a sealer unit and tank attached to the front of this trailer. Our asphalt small finishing roller and uh, all of our hand tools stay on this thing. So this is our tool truck that we rely on every day that's on every single job set that we're on because this is what transports the guys around and keeps all of our hand tools which are very important. Moving this way, get right to the middle here is gonna be the stuff that is I'm most excited about the newest stuff we've added to the fleet. Uh, I waited a lot, I'm gonna say well, almost all summer for these two skid steers here, the paver we got at the start of the summer, but uh, I'm very excited for these pieces of iron, so let's jump into this. Um, the two skiers you see here are their cats, their 2023s. They might be 24s, but I think they're 23s. Um, they're 262 D3s. Uh, this is, of course, the paved crew, so you can see on, I have a decal here just to simulate the two this is the pave crew one that's a prep crew one this one still has the door on it that will be coming off eventually uh we have our social medias on the side color match the company our saying dream create and joyce we have our branding on there our logo has the 30 years also inside of it if you can see there uh on the back we have um our website that you can grab here off the back of the machine as well as it's written out there in our company logo. I love these skid steers. They are awesome. We've been running 262s for uh, a while now. They're definitely my favorite skid steer to use. Uh, we have track machines as well. I am a tire machine guy personally. For That's a whole different conversation. But anyways, we have two of these machines. This one here is identical. Uh, just we got it a couple months uh, sooner and this is the exact same machine. So it's a custom painted black. This is from Cat to Factory Black. I do have an issue though with this machine and with that machine as well is that you can see it looks like it was actually painted yellow and then they took the machine brought it back to the paint booth and painted it uh black so we ordered this from factory black and you can see basically everywhere there's a scratch you can see yellow paint blow it that's kind of frustrating even the rims are like that so i'm pretty sure when you order something factory black it should be primed and painted black not have this yellow beneath it so that's kind of uh something we're looking into but anyways two skids here awesome love these things they're great for what we do they're painted black to match our branding couldn't be happier with those guys uh, and with our decals on it it looks awesome so that's that the flagship or centerpiece of the company is of course our paver this is a malden the 2023 uh, malden 1560 uh, paver absolutely love this paver we got it this year i have no complaints with this paver there is some things i would change however about it or some that i would upgrade to it that are conversations i've had with malden already but a very nice machine very reliable and awesome to use good for visibility just very happy it has a very heavy screen on it we uh, obviously got this custom painted too put our branding on it i changed the malden decal too to match our color so i color matched their decal to our company those lights too did not come with it. We put that light bar on it. It's a strobe N LED light bar. Same on the sides. We added one of these on each side as well. They strobe N, they are lights. Um, and then Malden has a saying, master of the mat. So we added it on the side arm of the paper here, that, uh, that logo to it. So that's pretty cool. On the back, we have our saying, dream, create, enjoy. And again, the Malden logo um, position in the middle, just change the color of that. So that was pretty cool uh going back this way we have another piece of iron uh this is this machine here and that cat roller are the only two pieces here that we do not own this loader is leased from a friend of mine um all summer long we use this of course at our yard mainly to load our trucks with uh sometimes gravel also topsoil um it feeds our screener as well that we have and it's just basically used for light duty stuff around the yard but definitely and need to have around. So this is a, I think it's a cat. It's a 926M loader. I can't tell you much about it because like I said, I don't own it, but it is a uh, great piece of uh, machine and we, uh, we love having it here. In the middle, you've seen this one before. This is our 2022 Yanmar, um, I think they call it a VIO 100. It's a 10 ton excavator with an R3 rotor tilt with the grapple module on the back of it. Uh, great piece of machinery. Very happy with this Yanmar. We only had one issue with it so far. There was an issue this summer actually where, uh, where, what was it right in here? This wheel were detached down below in there. I'm explaining this horribly, but anyways, it kind of fell apart and went to shit on us. But um, it's since been rectified and fixed and it was covered through warranty anyway. So that's uh, not a big deal, but great machine, honestly. Um, decent on fuel, strong, 
works very well and they're priced reasonable so very happy obviously we painted this black they come red which i'm very not fun well it comes same as that uh, three times so they come that color red i'm definitely not into the Yanmar red at all so going black was a no-brainer with this machine and we also changed out the lights because they still have halogens even in 2022 so we changed those ones to led and uh that's our, our Yanmar, and again love this 10 ton it's kind of been great step in uh, for excavation for us because we use this to dig out driveways and larger interlock projects armor stone walls and it's it's a very handy machine so happy with that uh moving this way we've had this in the fleet for a while now we bought this since new it's a 2013 i believe case 580 super n definitely something we don't use very often has one of our original logos on the side there as you can see um but handy to have usually the back we don't have the bucket on the back usually what this machine mostly does now is it we have a whole ram that we put on the back of it and we use it for jackhammering concrete and stuff like that so definitely handy to have around uh we're not a big backhoe company here my dad uses this but it's it's uh again handy to have it whenever you need it so it is a cool machine uh backhoes are obviously handy to have because you can scoop in the front and in the back so they're, they're unique to have but not something we use daily for sure uh, we're going to pass our skid steer here, which we already talked about. This here is our 2011 Duramax uh, crew cab. Uh, our prep crew uses this every day. We have a diesel tank in the back, so this guy's always constantly refilling up our equipment. Of course, tinted windows and our branding uh, put onto it. Uh, and then in the back here, we have, this used to be our interlock trailer, but we have significantly outgrown that. And uh, now it's our prep trailer, so we keep all of our prepping tools in there for our job sites. Um, and that's what that is for. So. Going this way, we're gonna head over to a couple trucks here and the float. So you've seen both these trucks in the last video. Uh, we have our 2022 Western Star 4900 and our 2022 um, International HX. Both trucks I'm very happy with. I My favorite truck out of all these trucks, in case you're curious to know, is the 4900. It's just a very trucker's style truck. It has the pinup ceiling in it. Um, you know, it's just everything about this truck is kind of, to me, more traditional, old school trucker's truck, which I tend to like that. Some people like the more modern truck, which the HX is. And then of course, a blend of kind of the two of these trucks is that new 4900X. Um, but anyways, they're both very different, both great trucks. Only thing I don't like about the International is, to me, the Jake brake is a little weak in, in it. Uh, when it's loaded, it does work fine, but I feel like the Western Stars have a better Jake brake system um, inside of them, so I prefer those. But anyways, that's our HX, our 4900, and if we go back this way, we have a float on the back of this International. Um, and all of our trucks too, as you probably already saw, uh, have pictures. So these are all products that we have done that we use for advertising on the side of the trucks. Um, this one here is getting redone because the coloring is wrong on it. But uh, this one has our CAI branding on the door as well and a fire pit with some armor stone and some stairs and stuff that we did here. So that was a beautiful project. And again, we have our 30 year uh, thing in the logo there. So that's that Western Star. Going back here is our newest float we got. Uh, this is a Float King. It's a uh, I believe it's 25 ton float if I'm not wrong on the spec of that. It also has um, electric ja jacks, so it has electric ramps on it. Uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic, beautiful float. Um, it's a little bit more done up than our Milano float is. It has a toolbox on the side. You have chrome rims back here. It has that kind of woodish tinged to the, to the deck. Kind of looks almost like a little reddish, the wood. Um, just a beautiful float. Um, they are located just outside of Barrie, Ontario, Float King. Um, just, they do a really beautiful job with this float. It stands out for sure. You can you can pick it out of a crowd. Very beautiful float, very happy with it. Uh, on this float, we have our P65 Wilder Paver, which by the way, if you're watching this video, this paver is for sale. So if you're interested, hit me up on Instagram because this paver is for sale. Uh, it's a great little paver. Just, uh, we have our new Malden and that's kind of what we stick with for the most part. But uh, this guy is up for sale. Um, besides that, you know, it, it's a 2021 it has 80 hours on it electric heated street sonic sensors the whole nine yards um so that's our wilder paver that we have this is our newest addition to our fleet uh this year for rollers go it's a cb 1.8 uh, cat we bought this and this has been a game changer for us because what we noticed with our malden having a heavier street we needed a heavier roller to, to compact with it because we needed that density in the asphalt and this cb um one point has been a great roller only thing i don't like about this roller is it's very 
I'm gonna say primitive in its design. It has really weird halogen lights in it that look like they're like 10 years old and there's no gauge for the water on it. And you have to turn the water up top there on off, which is weird because otherwise it all leaks out. So definitely it's a great roller for what it does, but there's some things about it that I find are very, just <laughs> not good or poorly thought out in the design process. But uh, for the function of what it does, which is compacting asphalt, it's been great. Uh, and then lastly here, for the equipment side of things, we have our 259 D3 Skid Series, it's 2022. We got this new last year. It's been a great machine, but I do believe it is going to be replaced uh, next year with something new that's also a cab and has tracks. So we'll see that next year. But anyways, that's the main fleet guys for the equipment. We do have two other trailers that I did not talk to you about. We also just picked up two, this, um, it's an RRS uh, screener. It's a 508 um, trommel screener. Um, so we do screen and make our own topsoil as well. This is a portable unit as you can see we have on the back of our one ton uh, yard truck here. So it is nice and easy to move. And it's a great little screener. So we are happy with that. Uh, that's new and we had the exact same one last year. This is just a brand new uh, model that we changed it out for. So it's 2020, I think it's a four actually, 2024 I think, uh, RRS um, 508 screener. So that's it guys. That's our equipment walk around video. I'll quickly pop over here and show you our two new trailers that we got. They're pulled behind like our F-150s. Uh, we have three company vehicles. That's my truck, my father and my uncle's truck. Um, but there's not really much point putting them in the video. That's mine right there. It's a F-150 and uh, my father and uncle share the same truck. Let's go over here, check out those trailers and then wrap this video up. So I'll see you in a second. All right, and lastly, we have these two trailers over here. So as far as I can remember, we got this trailer at the start of this season. I do forget, honestly, but I'm pretty sure this is our first year with this Brandt trailer. It's a UBT 822 Premium, it's called. It is a flat deck uh, trailer. It's a tilt deck trailer. So you pull this lever up, that deck goes down, and you can load your equipment up. The deck comes back down, lock that in place, chain up, and you're good to go. Uh, it is a galvanized steel trailer. Um, I believe it's a seven ton capacity, I think is what it's referred to as, I'm pretty sure anyways in the specs. Uh, and the cool thing about this trailer, as you can see here, it does have a spot to leave your forks in. So these are for the skid steer to hook up into. And uh, if you're transporting with a bucket on it, you don't need to chain down this separately. It's always in the trailer at all times if you want to have it there. So there's receivers underneath for those forks to go into. That's pretty cool. And over here we have our 14 foot by seven uh, and a half, I believe it is. Um, Triumph utility trailer. This is used for all of our interlock tools. So we keep our table saws in here, our geo grid, geo matting, um, and just different tools that we use for interlock work to keep out of our Isuzu crew cab trailer. So it's just basically anything to do with interlock levels and trowels and stuff like that are inside of this trailer. Uh, very handy for us to have. It's not, of course, as you can see, it's black. So we are going to get this thing all uh, branded uh, and put a picture on the side of it with our, our um, to match our trucks basically, but it hasn't been done yet. But this is our newest trailer. I actually think we might be selling this trailer. Um, the prepping trailer that you saw earlier on in the video, it's a 14 foot, this is a 16 foot, and I think we're probably going up to go to a 20 foot. Um, it seems like every time you buy something bigger, you end up filling it up and then having it something bigger again. So I think that might be the case with this trailer, so it might be going up for sale. But um, either way, it has been good. Just, like I said, we kind of tend to keep growing and growing and growing, which I guess is a good thing, but uh, not a good thing is you have to buy more stuff. So good with the bad. But anyways, those are those two trailers, guys. They didn't make it into this picture, but I wanted to include them into this video. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video. That is the end of our 2023 equipment uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. I do have a lot more content coming out, guys. The picture on the side of that truck, that's a job we did this year, a really beautiful interlock job. Honestly, I think it's my favorite job we've ever done. That video's gonna be coming out soon. This video is gonna, gonna skip ahead of a whole bunch of them. Um, uh, that I would like to get out there for you guys, which will be coming soon. It can be hard to keep up with editing and posting and stuff like that, but it is coming at you. I will have more content coming very, very soon. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for waiting. Uh, and I want to say a special thank you to a very big fan that we have. His name is Jimmy. You probably saw at the start of the video, we all said hi to Jimmy. And uh, Jimmy's mother contacted contacted me on Instagram. To let us know how much Jimmy likes watching our YouTube channel, which just means so much to me and that's so crazy to think about um his parents asked him what he wanted to be this year for halloween and he said a capital asphalt uh worker so his parents went got him a shirt printed with our logo on it and he puts his little logos on his sides of his toys he has and just 
what a really special kid and that it just warms my heart knowing that there's a little boy out there watching our videos that you know thinks it's cool to see stuff like that so very cool special thank you to jimmy anyone that's watched this video thank you for watching it but especially jimmy thank you so much uh, i have some cool stuff going to send your way so check your mailbox you'll see some stuff soon and uh thank you for anyone that's watching this video you have a great day night weekend whatever it is and we'll catch you guys soon thank you and I only pray when I ain't got a prayer So who the hell am I, who the hell am I to expect a savior?